Hello guys, in the last days of September, so almost a few weeks ago, they released Filament version 4.1. I was busy with some other stuff, but now I have time to review it and show it in action with visual before and after. But to be honest, the team got much better at showing visuals, so screenshots and GIFs in the tutorials and more screenshots in the documentation. So this is a very good improvement in addition to the code. But still, I wanted to make a video showing the examples of my use cases and comment with whatever practical tips I can add on top of the official announcement and documentation. So in this video, I will show you four new features of Filament 4.1 in action. Let's dive in. How to update Filament 4.0 to 4.1. So I've taken one demo project which was on 4.0.7 at the time. And if we take a look at Composer JSON of that project, it looks like this 4.0 and up. Now what happens if we just run Composer update? Just like that without changing anything manually. So yeah, it is done. Now let's go up and see what was actually updated, which versions. As you can see, Filament upgrade was updated to 4.1 and also filament filament. So basically, if we refresh, now we're on 4.1, and this is all you need to do. You don't need to change anything else manually. Keep in mind, if you run Composer update, it will update all the packages not necessarily related to filament, so these ones. So just double check if you do want to update everything and there's nothing kind of potentially dangerous to be updated. And now as our project is on 4.1, let me show you the first feature of new version, which is a layout change without the top bar, which will also affect the search that you can see the global search on the left. And this project actually comes from our filamentexamples.com where we had moving global search to sidebar, which was tricky to do in filament 4.0. So this is the code with the explanation what you had to do in 4.0. You need to hook into sidebar nav start, loading global search kind of manually, the live wire component. And also with custom filament theme, you had to hide the global search from the top bar. So this is what is done currently. But if we comment that out and get back to the default behavior of global search, we we'll refresh our dashboard and this is how it's supposed to work in filament 4 and previously. Now in 4.1, one of our filament examples members opened an issue reminding us that it's now obsolete example and that it's now in 4.1 by default. So in 4.1, you can change the behavior of top bar, basically disabling that and choosing in the admin panel provider different layout with top bar false like this and now if we save and we refresh the dashboard see the top bar is gone that part of the top right corner is moved to the bottom corner on the left which actually reminds me of the design layout of laravel 12 new starter kit so this is for example react starter kit and same thing the user menu is on the bottom left i'm not sure if it's a worldwide trend or something but yeah this is the second time in laravel ecosystem that i see this solution and yeah with that global search is automatically moved to the left because well there is no place for search on the top bar anymore but also with 4.1 you can move search to the left manually without changing the layout so for example if we return to top bar true here, instead of moving the whole top bar, you can define global search, not false, but override one parameter position. And instead of strings, I like to use the constants like this. So global search position sidebar is what's cursor suggesting. And then that global search position should be on the top somewhere here. Yeah, the first one, it's an enum global search position. Actually, what's inside? top bar and sidebar two options and now for refresh the dashboard top bar still stays but search is on the left side so this is the first feature i wanted to show you in 4.1 the next feature of 4.1 i want to show you is pretty small but makes your ui a bit better so with table repeaters you can make them more compact what does it mean visually let's see that in action so this is the official filament demo and in the order edit form there's a table repeater like this which looks like this by default and also in the same official docs if you scroll up you can see something like this so there's nothing really wrong with this view it works but now in the code of that repeater make we may add one thing compact like this 
So I have upgraded the filament demo behind the scenes to 4.1 and now if we refresh that page it looks like this with borders. And so that you could compare I open that in another browser tab so this is before compact and this is with compact. So again let's click before after this is before with drop downs as you can see here this is after so it is clickable like this visually and takes less space and also looks in my opinion more like a table like a data table instead of set of inputs. So yeah kind of a small change but looks much better. Another pretty similar change to the layout of tables is with repeatable entry of info lists. So by default info list if it has similar structure it looks like this just kind of cards and I don't have the example of that at hand so I will show the official documentation and you can choose grid layout and also new table layout which would then show it as table so it's not an editable table there's no like edit button or anything but if you just want to show the records like this you can also choose the table layout now and these are by the way not text columns from tables these are table columns from info list namespace so it's a bit different syntax and also there are a few extra settings that you may want to change header labels wrap headers alignment and width and by the way kind of side note did you see the banner on the top filament 4.1 is here which is the tutorial I will link in the description below about the new features but also there's a link for sponsoring filament so filament is a free tool which we all love and use but to get it to the future versions with all the bug fixes and stuff like that I do advise you if you can afford it to sponsor Dan Harron personally the creator of filament and this is one of the ways how they make money at all as a filament team now let's get back to the features of 4.1 and let's talk about empty state which is not a new thing this is a feature of table which can be customizable and here's the documentation of tables empty states so you can for example specify this text or icon or button to create post and also even provide the custom view now what you can do in 4.1 is to provide empty state pretty much anywhere this is a schema thing which means you can add empty state not only to the table not only to the main schema so let me show you an example for example you have a form for posts and in one of the sections of that form you may want to do something like this section four categories just showing that there is no category with an action to add a category so then on the page it would look like this section for the main form and then section with empty state pointing to whatever action you want here so this is also a new feature on 4.1 empty state is now general schema thing and not just a table and another new feature that was mentioned in the 4.1 release tutorial it's related to rich editor I'm not a heavy user of rich editor so I don't have the example but we have grid tool now for responsive grids you can take a look at that gif on the page and you can customize the grid let's take a look how it will look actually something like this so probably good thing for CMS pages and general CMS projects and also we have rich editor text color tool so you can choose color like this another demo on the website submit and what do we have now we have text color like this and both of those features are enabled in rich editor by just adding toolbar buttons like grid here and also in the text color version is just text color toolbar button and also you can take a look at the official release on github of 4.1 the list is bigger than just those features that i've shown you in this video and of course as usual dan Harren and the team keep cooking so if we scroll up now we are on 4.1.6 already so they keep releasing minor versions with fixes and small new features pretty much every few days or so so you can see what's changed including the documentation change again in the github releases i will link that in the description below what do you think about 4.1 anything interesting for your projects let's discuss that in the comments below and what maybe other features you expect in 4.2 or version 5 or whatever or what is your kind of dream feature or dream functionality for filament in the future let's discuss all of that in the comments below that's it for this time and see you guys in other videos